Isaiah chapter 39, Envoys from Babylon. <clears throat> At that time, Merodach Baldin, son of Baladan, king of Babylon, Babylon, sent Hezekiah letters and a gift because he had heard of his illness and recovery. Uh, Hezekiah received the envoys gladly and showed them what was in his, tr uh, his storehouses, the silver, the gold, the spices, the fine oil, his entire armory, and everything found among his treasures. There was nothing in his palace or in all his kingdom that Hezekiah did not show them. Take note of this. Let's continue. Then Isaiah the prophet went to King Hezekiah and asked, What did those men say and where did they come from? From a distant land, Hezekiah replied, They came to me from Babylon. The prophet asked, What do they see in your palace? They saw everything in my palace, Hezekiah said. There is nothing among my treasures that I did not show them. Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, Hear the word of the Lord Almighty. The time will surely come when everything in your palace and all that your fathers have stored up until this day will be carried off to Babylon. Nothing will be left, says the Lord. And some of your descendants, your own flesh and blood, who will be born to you, will be taken away, and they will become eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. The word of the Lord you have spoken is good, Hezekiah replied. For he thought, there will be peace and security in my lifetime. Wow. Wow. There's a lot here. <laughs> so, Hezekiah, Hezekiah kind of wanted to show off a little bit. Okay. He wanted to show off a little bit because he has been healed and because King of Babylon sending some people. And Hezekiah was like, yeah, I'm showing him everything. Were they spies? Maybe. And here goes Hezekiah pridefully. He didn't seek the Lord. He didn't say, Lord, um, supposedly the king of Babylon sent me these people. What's up with this? What's going on? You know, it's because he says they, they care for me and they just want to see how I am. Did he do with that? Mm -mm. He was like, wow, somebody else is thinking of me too. And not only that, I'm going to show these people that came all this great wealth that I've collected. There was that pride striking again, that arrogance striking again, striking again. Bring past to present. Be careful. Everything may be at peace. Everything may be at good. All good things come from the Lord. But continue to recognize in that who is the good shepherd? Who provided all that? Continue to bless and praise him. Don't let it get to your head. Don't let it. Don't, don't get prideful. Because the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. If you need to read, go back and look at Job. Uh, go back to the uh, Bible study about Job. It's literally something similar that he says, even to his own wife. Are we to celebrate uh, only in the good times? Are we only to seek the Lord only in the bad times? Seek and worship the Lord at, at all times. Then Isaiah, or then Hezekiah thought, <clears throat> what you said is good, because uh, here's Isaiah saying, well, everything's going to be taken away by Babylon, and your descendants are going to be um, eunuchs. And Hezekiah, <laughs> thing that Hezekiah thought was, wow, thank you for telling me that. Yeah, that's bad, but it's good for me. <laughs> Not going to happen during my lifetime. <laughs> Prideful, arrogant answer. <laughs> But he was like, whew. 
Missed one. Did he worship the Lord? Yeah. But did he have some, some a little bit of issues? Mm-hmm. So be be understand. Just telling you, understand, be careful, understand who the Lord is. Give him glory, give him honor. And when you're being blessed and, and just the blessings are overflowing, bless, you know, if it's the Holy Spirit is leading you to bless others, do so. Don't just don't just show them all. Don't just say, hey, look what I got. Look at all my toys. Think about it. What kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think?